So another interesting thing about customers and people in general, <clears throat> it, we all think that we're at the center of the universe. It's understandable because you only live inside your own head. But the people who can't step out from that and function with other humans. <clears throat> Example. Working in retail, a lot of times you have to say hello to people, whether they walk into the door or they're within 10 feet of you. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to the store, whatever. Most people, when you know you say hello, they, oh, hello, hi. There's some people that just completely ignore you and walk right on by. I'm okay with, I'm okay with that because maybe they didn't hear me, whatever. Maybe they got a lot on their mind. Maybe they're pissed off or something, they're constipated, whatever. They're dealing with their own issue. The one, the things that, the people that bug me the most is when I look at them, I go, hello. And they meet me right in the eye and they look at me. And then they look away and they keep walking. Like, I acknowledge that you spoke to me, but I'm not going to waste the time or breath saying hi to you. There is a lot of customers out there like that. You people are cocksuckers. You could just waste a second, just hi. Validate my existence. Here's another one. People come in, they're looking for a certain item. And we don't have it, because it's either checked out or sold out. But I want it. Yeah, I understand that, but it's, it's not here. That they're all gone. First come, first serve. Everyone else beat you to it. <sighs> but I really need it, and I want it now. <clears throat> I can write you a rain check. And then there is a long babbling session that I usually zone out for where they're bitching and complaining about how they didn't get what they want, and yada, yada, yada. And I heard from a friend that works in customer service that someone actually said to her once, well, you've ruined Christmas. It's all your fault. With a kid in the cart and everything. But normally throughout all this bitching session, I, I ignore it and I think about what I'm going to do later that day. But there's one that pulled me out. There was a guy who was between 40 or 50 and he was looking for a certain item. He went, well, I can't have it. I went, mm -mm, no, it's all gone. He went, well, that's not fair. And that immediately pulled me back in the situation. I go, excuse me? What'd you say? And he goes, well, that's just not fair. I want it. Really, dude, that's not fair? The fact that the certain item you're looking for isn't here and you're that old and you're using... That's something a kid says. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, life sucks. Full of regret. Learn to get rid of it. But here is this 40 to 50 year old guy going, well, that's not fair. And it took everything in my power to not just unload on him. A lot of life isn't fair. There's a lot of shit that's not fair. But this is how this guy went about his life. Fair. Alright, that's all I got for now.